Hello everyone, this is Rita here, and um, thank you for stopping by my channel. I am doing my second video here now. Um, just worked on uh, Junket July with Taddy Treasures uh, challenge, Facebook challenge, in the prior video. So now we're back to uh, uh, Taddy Treasures uh, Edith Holden. Um, I guess it's like a mini series that she had um, starting on uh, January 3rd if you want to go take a look and the in the first video I have all the links um, to her channel so I hope I can um, get those in the next one it's just hard to get all these links together but anyway I'll do the best I can so uh, today we're gonna keep working um, not sure how far we'll get I did not set my timer set timer for 45 minutes um, okay your timer is set for 45 minutes. I get lost in time. I, I have to have something to tell me it's time. Okay, um, so what I did is I sewed around all of the um, pages. I inked all the pages with um, Distress Ink Rangers in tea dye. Now, um, Tanya said that the tea dye actually looks better with the Edith Holden pages so I just did what she said I'm not sure if she did that on this part I don't know can't I don't remember there's just so much you know when somebody's showing you and you're trying to absorb it all and you you know it's really hard to do um so I don't have like white uh tacky glue I feel like my um Glitter glue is going to be too fast drying. So I'm going to go ahead and, and start using fabric tack. I just hope that it doesn't seep out. And so I'll go around the edges because I can always go in with a little bit of the art glitter glue if it lifts. Okay, so the first thing I did was, and I didn't do it on this one. Um, let me get a pencil. I marked them. Let's just do this front and front. Um, because we're going to, um, first of all, you have to take all these off to go sew around them, but now we have to take them off to ink around this first. Okay. So that goes on the front. I'm going to turn it upside down. This one uh, I marked number one. That's why I went ahead and made that front and this one and this one, we know that they fit on the envelopes the front and the backs. So let me, let me just attach them together. So, okay, front and backs. Then this one goes, where does this one go? This goes on the big envelope, large envelope. Okay, lost it there for a minute. This one is number two page. Okay. And I've marked a two here. And then this is the third page, which is the back cover. And I marked that. Alrighty. So now we can set these aside and um, start working on the cover here. Now, as I was watching her video, she put um, tape or something down here. Um, to make this stronger and then um, I think when she put her window this envelope in she also taped no she didn't tape that I think she taped this from the ends uh, here too I don't think you need to do that Hmm. Especially if you tape it on this outside part. All right, I'm just gonna tape this outside part and this part. And what I'm going to do is make my own tape. So, let me get, this is the tape that we 
that I bought to make washi tape, but it's a lot more than a washi tape. It's extremely strong double stick, uh, stick paper. So then I have to decide what paper do I want to put that will show through on here. And I'm kind of thinking I might want to use the straw paper because it's got that pretty gold color. So let me get the straw paper out. I have that color or I have this color. straw paper gold. <laughs> I, I'm not much of a gold person, but um, these are kind of looking good to me, the gold. All right. So what I'm going to do, let's see, this is plenty long. So I'm going to run this tape across this. So sticky. And we'll do it twice because I need one for the front and one for the back. This is from Amazon, this tape, and it's double-sided tape, and it's called BASIC, B-A-Z-I-C, and um, I think it works good for these. So let me um, get a ruler, I think I'll just use a plastic one. You can rip this with your hands, but just do it this way. You, you know, if you're making washi, you can, I showed you in one of the videos that you can just rip it with your hands. But since I don't care if it's got a raggedy edge, I'm just going to do it that way. That's a good little strip. She did put lace over the top of this, so I don't know if we will or won't, but I'll decide that when we get to it. Okay. So this side has got a little... All right, I'm going to ink it. I don't know how this tea will work on that. Oops. I guess it's fine. Kind of actually makes it a little more gold or like a deeper gold. If you're going to ink it though, you have to do it now because um, I get, maybe get a good grip on that. Oh, there we go. So you can leave some of this on here so that you can get it lined up. Oops. I'll just cut off the extra. And you still should have your um, bend in there. I'm just going to do that a little bit. fingernail. You could go with a bone folder or something. A little higher. Cut this extra off. Okay. So, and this was page two. I just covered it. All right, now we'll do the back side.
So I already said hello in the last video, but um, say hello again. I hope you're all having good weeks. Kids are getting, won't be long before they start going back to college and that. My granddaughter is home because my of her mom's 50th. So she flew home from Utah and then she's kind of working for her dad for a week or so because he went to Pennsylvania to a car show and um, everybody had to, at his work, had to go. So that way somebody's watching the store. Oh. I never can get them lined up. They don't show, so that's good. But, yeah, I have a hard time lining them up. I think Tanya pulled them over around the front, but I didn't. Okay, so there's that. And we still have our little spine there. things back in order right okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp on this around the edges on the outside and in through here um, I don't really think that much is gonna show uh, so you don't have to use um, you don't have to worry about the writing that you're gonna use too much let's see I need um, a piece of paper because I can't, well, I guess I can't use the edge of the book. Yeah, I could do that. Okay. So I'm just going to just stamp it like that, I guess. That's how she did it. I don't even know what's on this. This is my new stamp. I'm not sure what's even on there. Like I said, it's probably not gonna show. I don't think so, but I'm going to do a little more down, down here. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to do the other side. I'm only pushing down in this one corner, but in the whole page. Let's do this corner. Oh, I think she did stamp down the center of this. Um, oh, I meant to tell you too, on this one I'm using um, what am I using? Coffee ink and coffee. My favorite thing, coffee. So anybody buys me a cup of coffee, I will probably go buy coffee. <laughs> so I gotta go to Costco and get my coffee. Okay, let's do... Um, down 
and center. Just do it all, right? <laughs> okay, set that to the side. Okay, so that's all done. All right? Okay. So now we get to glue the pages on. Um, all right. I guess I don't need that because I'm going to use fabric tack. All right, so this is the front cover and this is the front. Okay, so this little corner right here is um, pretty close to that, but I think she left it just like that. Okay, so let me get this. This is the scary part. But, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm sorry, let me go back. One step, let's ink around the outside of the, yeah, let's ink around that. I don't think she's rounded off these bottom edges. I guess if you wanted to, you could though. I was watching her video this morning and I did notice that she, in the next steps, I think it was five, or maybe I was watching six, I'm not sure. Um, she did add a lot of embellishments that I didn't make, so I don't know if exactly what else I will be adding, but you can add whatever you want. You can do this in whatever. Um, these are glued shut, so I don't have to... You you could leave them open, actually. I, I think that'd be kind of cool to make those pockets for a journal card. Um, or the option to have a pocket there. So let's at least ink around here. I probably need to ink up here too because this back might show. Never hurts to ink everywhere. doesn't really take very long unless you don't like to ink it some people don't like that look okay yeah that's good and then I think when I glue it down because she did glue the whole thing down I may only glue all across here and here and leave this pocket just in case I want to put a journal card or somebody else might want to store something in there. It's funny because I think about this and I'm thinking they're probably not going to use it for anything. They're just going to put it on their shelf and admire it. Okay, front. Now we're ready. Okay, so let's, let's work glue. You know, I tried to clean this out yesterday and I I took the Sobo glue. I think I may have to use Sobo. And unless this starts to work. And then it just stops. That hasn't done that in so long. Got to get another bottle of Sobo. I mean, this is just glue. It, it says fabric glue, but 
mean, it's probably got the same stuff in it. Like I said, if it doesn't squish, um, to the, all the way to the edges, I will add more glue to Um, I'm gonna, I was thinking about putting lace on this. Um, she must have put her lace on after she put this page on. I don't know. I guess it's good. This part here, um, I mean, I can go back later and just really lift all this up and put this glue in. Just go back and I'm not doing it right now because I don't want to take time to do that. I want to take time to put our other stuff on. Okay, now here is number two, which this should be This was two. This is one. Did I do this wrong? I've got two that say two. This is actually probably number one. It is. Okay. That's, that's the story. <laughs> that's me. Okay. I am going to go a little bit closer on this than I did on the first one, I think. If this seeps out even a little bit, dries clear. So I don't know, I'm just trying to kind of center it in and make sure it's not in the crease. Probably should move it over just a tad so that it's not in the crease because that would be a problem. Maybe. Okay, now number, okay, we have our cards. Let's see, this one is the large card. Goes to that. Now this goes, this goes here. Okay. So it is a good thing to mark the backs because I will get confused. Unless um, you have the memory of a 10 year old because my granddaughter doesn't forget anything. She goes, you told us, you told me that you were gonna do this or you were gonna take me here. <laughs> I don't remember telling her. And then I'll say, well, remember when I told you? And she goes, you never said that. Oh, darn. I'm sorry. Well, we all know how this glue works, right? It doesn't matter what brand or what kind you have. It just has its own way of behaving. 
And Tanya did hers. Um, She rolled it. This one was a little big. I guess it's okay. Yeah, you do want a glue that's going to let you have a little. See, that one's like. it's fine. Just felt like it was in that ridge too close. All right, so there's that. And then on this side is three, which is this one. Come on, glue, okay? It's really good. I opened this and everything yesterday and cleaned it all out. But see, like it gets these little stringy things. Just had a wipe, I don't know. What other kind of glue can I use? I don't have another bottle of fresh fabric tack or I go get it. You know, not in that bell bottle, that bakery bottle. All my glues are probably so dry. I mean, okay, so that's that. I'm trying to, see if I can just get this freed up a little bit. for a little bit Let's see all right so now we need to put in oh, we have to put these on the envelopes okay so this one actually goes on this side I put some green paper in there because um, that edge was the sticky tape that I took off and it was still really really sticky so I don't know I was thinking if I cut, I'd have to cut this edge off and re-glue it, which I kind of don't want to do. So I thought maybe I could just hide that. Or actually, what would happen if I cut? Hmm. 
I haven't glued this in yet. I wonder if I cut this out, would that look bad? I mean, what would happen? What I could do, I was thinking I could run a piece of lace up this side. Let me just check something. I wasn't, didn't want to embellish yet, but again, I could put a piece of lace right across that so that it wouldn't look like it's cut off. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna cut this straight across. The scissors lost their entire point. I don't know why that is. Okay. This is probably not how Tanya would have done it, but I don't know any other way. I was going to leave this open, but I guess I still can. Okay, so this needs to be inked. This side I have open for a pocket, a journal card or whatever. This is not gonna show, so I don't need to ink it. This is gonna show. to see I was looking to see um, so this if I put a um, you know cut it out then I wanted it to have something when is this envelope going to be open like that Honestly, I can't remember how she did it. Well, this was covered. Okay, never mind. This was covered. Let me try to um, get my thoughts together here. Okay, so this goes on the envelope. So if I want to put lace, I don't want it on, I want it all on one side or the other. I don't want it to infringe. So this side is going to have to be open, right?
what I'm trying to figure out is if it's going to be open, what side is going to show? Where I want to glue this down, this green paper. I think I'm going to glue it up to this edge. I don't know. down here. Now this is all wonky in here. Maybe I never glued it down in here. This one's so hard to squeeze. I don't know. I can't know where this is going to land. And this glue doesn't like fabric. just doesn't like to lay down. Okay. That goes into that. I guess eventually it'll lay down. If it doesn't, I'll have to come back and fix it.
I have no time to work with this glue. I'm probably gonna have to come back and fix the Let's say that didn't go. Let me have that all the way in. Okay, it's not attached yet. All right, so let's see the other envelope. Is this one, which goes in here, and it's a long one, which I put um, some of that grain in there, and. I'm, let's see, which one is supposed to be a top opening? Um, I guess it could be either one could be the top open. Hmm. I feel like I want this top one on, I mean, the long one on the top. For some reason, it, um, looks a little more pleasing to me because, um, I don't know, I just like it better. Okay, so, um, I guess I can always go back and cut the tops or the sides, whatever I want, right? Oh, this was going to be that one because of this page, but oh well. All right. First of all, let me ink the window or the uh, envelope. Because I'm not going to cut those until I know what, what I'm doing. Because if I leave a little bit of room, well, Tanya, what did you do? Okay, I think I'm going to cut the top. All right, let me sliver the top off. This is going to be a pocket up here. So whatever I put up there was going to have to have a tab because um, I don't want to cut this. All right. So you may want to pick envelopes for your layout, how you think it should stack. Actually, you could put as many envelopes as you like on pages. And in her videos, she talks about a lot of different things that she did, you know, like not putting that last flap window or I keep saying window, page, envelope. I don't know why I keep saying that. Okay, come on, slide a little bit. Get all these done. Okay, this doesn't. 
doesn't matter if it's inked, it's not going to show. So, um, uh, this one, I think I would rather have it open on this side. Sorry, I'm quiet. I just, you know, it's so hard to think. Oops, went too far. Well, I didn't even <laughs> didn't close it. It's because I put that green paper in there because I thought, you know, instead of looking at this blue, green would work. I don't even know if it'll make a difference or not. All right. So in that I'll cut some of that green showing. Okay, and then I'm going to slice this open. blue is showing but okay. all right so let's put this let's see this one oh I gotta do the back of that one all right oh <laughs> made my car too short. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. Um, let's see. Is there any way I can fix that? I think it'll matter if I just glue it on. These are going to be very close to the same um, color and texture. I think that's good though. Okay. Um, Well, unless I want to do another envelope, which I could, because it's standard envelope. Yeah, I guess I'll just do a different, another envelope. I won't cut it shorter. It was because of that green paper I cut it shorter. Didn't need to. Okay, let's glue this on just because we've got it here. So this is the upside pocket, so I still got to leave this all open. Oh, that's the back. Let me put that lid back on this one. I wonder.
want to get this done in like three videos. donkey's back. He had it up on another pasture. Okay. All right. So that's done. That one. I'm going to clip it. And then I'll remake this. I'll coffee dye this envelope. Another envelope. Let me put these on. So all that part's done. Still has its spine, still comes out pretty good on the sides. Yeah. I gotta remember to oh no, I didn't I don't think she put a tie on it, so yeah, I've gotta think about the closure. I'm afraid I'm gonna get it too full of stuff. Okay, this goes, I think, on this envelope. Hmm. That's too small for that one. I don't want to hide the bird. I don't want to hide this stuff. Maybe I'll hinge it on. I might hinge that on there so we don't lose this and this we have. All right, we'll think about that. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for joining me. I'm sorry about the glue situation. Um, before I do the next video, I'll see if I can't get some glue figured out. Okay, so you guys have a great day. Thank you. Bye.